Welcome to TalkersOfGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more television reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing episode four of My Adventures with Superman. Let's go to Ivo Tower, you say. That is the title of the episode. You can find this on HBO Max and Adult Swim. As always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. Clark, Lois, and Jimmy cover a gala hosted by tech billionaire Dr. Ivo. But while Clark and Lois wonder if this counts as a date, Ivo unleashes his newest invention, a creation that could bring down Superman. I keep saying this, and I know I'm going to sound like a broken record by the time we reach the season finale, but this is truly the best Superman product. No offense to Superman and Lois, which is such a great show for live action, but this is really bringing, it really is just giving me TAS vibes. I say it every week, and I'm going to keep saying it, so deal with it. Anyway, what I like about this show is how they're introducing our villains. Yes, they're doing the villain. It's starting to become a little bit of villain of the week. Um, this time with Dr. Ivo, who becomes a certain Superman villain. Um, for those who are not familiar with the comics or are familiar with this particular villain, I will say the spoilers for you. But we did get an introduction to some other character who has red hair and I will leave it at that. And I was geeking out. I was like, I, cause I thought if you look at my last week's review, I thought this particular character will be coming at the end, but they give him a nice introduction without even giving him any characterization. They just say his name a couple of times. He's working for Dr. Ivo either as an assistant or an apprentice. And you can tell that this particular character is going to be something of a threat down the line and i can't wait this episode has to be one of my favorites not only do we get a real good build up and characterization of lois and clark's relationship things are starting to blossom i'm glad they're not dragging it out like most animes will do i'm looking at you my tiny senpai and those other shows i'm watching especially that girl who keeps losing her damn glasses but no, no, no. This is not a rant on the recent shows I've been reviewing. This is about my adventures with Superman episode four. So anyway, I like what they're doing with Clark and Lois here. And they're actually giving you a little bit of hints here of Jimmy and how he's feeling about their Blossom relationship. And, you know, three's a crowd. And there's always that feeling, which I'm liking what they're doing with Jimmy's arc is that, um, which I think this is just my theory what they're um, going to be doing here. I think what they're going to be doing is that three is a crowd type of arc where, you know, you have your two best friends. Two of them are actually going to be hooking up or dating and you're kind of left out. You're kind of that third wheel and we'll see how Jimmy handles that third wheel arc if they decide to even go in that direction. And I'm really curious to see what they're going to go with Jimmy with this. Once again, he still plays kind of second fiddle or third fiddle, I should say, to Clark and Lois, who are the, obviously the main focus of the story here. But the real story here is Dr. Ivo, what he becomes. And I like his motivation of, of why he's doing what he wants to do. He's about to be run out of his company, and he creates this certain thing, and all hell breaks loose. And it's up to Superman. But what I really want to do spoilers, but I, can't do, I don't want to do spoilers. So I would just say this. The ending of this episode, I cannot wait for next week and how Clark is going to explain this because something happened at the end of this episode and Clark was trying to do something throughout this particular episode and obviously in superhero fashion, it doesn't happen and he decides not to do it, but now something else has happened. So I'm, I'm very curious to see. How is Clark going to explain this? I love the river. I love what they did with it. And it just really shows a certain characters, really intelligence and, and intellect. And I'm really happy that they're hopefully not prolonging these type of reveals and like prolonging it throughout the entire series. So I'm really curious to see how certain relationships are going to play out when a certain truth comes out or if the truth is going to come out this early. So I'm really, really happy with this episode. This is four for zero right now. Like they're, they're on a ball. They are four and all right now. And I am really having a blast watching this. I know for some folks, the animation style is a little bit off putting. It's I really like you have to watch 
kind of like Young Justice or even you can see it is very anime inspired. Um, but it's a very good anime inspired cartoon and I really am enjoying this. I cannot wait for next week. I am hooked. I might actually watch the first four episodes again just in just because it's that good. The writing's that good, the acting's good. Definitely you must watch this. If there's any superhero show property, and I know Harley's coming out next week. We'll have reviews for that as well. But if there is any superhero show you should be watching, it's this one. This is Justin from AtakusGeeks.com. What did you think of episode four? What did you think of that ending? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what we do here, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And check out all our content here. If you're content, content here. If you're watching on the channel, if you're watching this on tacosandgeeks.com, browse our interviews, check out our podcast on Spotify, Tacos and Geeks The Hour, which will return next month. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your support in later days. I'll catch you on the next one.